to do this lecture's homework, what you're going to need to know is how to decompose a picture by three definitions. The foreground, the background, and the midground. The foreground and midground and background are what you need to know to decompose an image so that you can look for the base element of flow. Now let's take a look at what that means. You see, this is your picture, and the picture we're going to decompose is an image by Samael, an artist that I picked out randomly, and he is one of my favorite artists. And this is decomposed with a foreground and midground and background. The midground would be in the middle. It stands for middle. The foreground is right here. And the background would be in the back. So if you want to take an image that you find of your favorite artist to break it down into a series of flow, what you need to do is look for the foreground, midground, or background first. And whichever you start with, you could start with the midground, you could start with the foreground, whichever one you start with, no matter which one you start with, it will always leap right back into the central focus. So, without hesitation, let's go into what I mean by this. So this artist, as I said from earlier, is Samael. This is based on Toho. It is a bullet hell shooting game. Uh, it's yesteryear's Japan's yesteryear's craze. We'll start with the midground, which is right here. So the plank here, which is right here, this plank is leading into the central focus. The central focus here is Reimu. Now I'm going to name the characters real quickly so that I don't name them again and uh, so you don't end up getting confused just quickly. This one here is Reimu. Reimu. This one is Sané. Sané. This one, Yuyuko. This one is Yomu. This one is Marisa. Marisa. This one, Suika. This one is Kirino, and this one is Suako. Okay? Just wanted to get that out of the way quickly. So, Reimu, which is right here, is the central focus. And why is she the central focus? Is because, as you begin, we start with midground. And the midground, we see that this plank here is an arrow indicator. This arrow indicator points up to Reimu, which is right here. She's in the midground. This points up, and the force blows up. Okay, the force blows up this way. Her sleeve blows up. Her skirt blows this way. Right this way. As her, under her skirt blows this way, so does these things right here. This blows up this way, and then up direction. Everything is blowing in an up direction. This is leading our eye up and around the picture as we get to Marisa, the girl right here. Okay, so when we get up to Marisa, everything is going this direction. Okay, let's go our back, our focus down here. Sonne, the girl in green. 
she is swaying her body this way, just like the flow from Remu's skirt. Yuyuko is right here, and her, under her, under her dress is blowing in an up direction, as you can see. Now, remember what I said about objects that have a pocket of force? This also makes an up direction. Her fan makes an up direction, as well as Yomu, which her sword is pushing up. So, so far everything is leading our eye in an up direction. Sane, Remu, Yuyuko, and Yomu. Okay, so we're going up. And as we move up to Marisa, which is right, she is right here. Her broom is going this direction. And it's going this direction because it is leading our eye around the picture. Under her skirt is pushing, making a pushing force up this way. Same with her hat. It's going this way in the same pushing direction, the same pushing force. Suika, which is, she's sitting right up here. She's swaying her body in the same direction. Notice, she's not just sitting straight, she's sitting this way. And the artist put this, the artist put her swaying this way so that it can all lead in the same movement. It's not just straight. If it was straight, it would just defeat all the flow. So as we move our eye around the image, you begin to notice something. And not just the direction of the flow of every character and object in the, in the image, in the foreground, the midground, and the background, you also notice a difference in hue. This is warm. Okay, you see this is warm color. And on the bottom of Remu's umbrella is cool color. So flow can also be thought of in difference of hue and saturation. Using warm and cool colors to give a different attitude to the image. As we make our way around the image, see right here, and then it's going up this way, around, coming around, back into the midground. Remember, this is the midground, this is the background where you see Yuyuko and Yomu. Remu is in the midground. Sane is also in the midground. Suiko is in the background. We make our way around back into the midground, back to Kirino and Suako. We make our way around back to the midground, where you see this mushroom. And here is another arrow indicator, right here in the midground, leading back to Remu, which is the central focus. In the midground, you also see this blurred out leaf. This is a big one right here. This leaf points right back up to Remu. So you see here in the midground, this points back to Remu, the mushroom points back to Remu, and this plank points back to Remu. So what you see is a whole haphazard of flow, you see. The composition just leads your eye around with warm and cool colors, 
back to Remu, which was the central focus, and she was in the mid-ground. So when you're doing your homework, what you want to look for when you're breaking down your images is to look for the mid-ground. You can start with the mid, uh, sorry, no, this is the mid-ground. You can start with the mid-ground, the foreground, or the background. Start with either one. You could start with the background. I recommend you try locating the foreground first and then make your way into the mid-ground and see where the central focus is. Usually, most of the times, the central focus is in the middle. But that that is not always the case. So, pick one and try to find where the central focus is. Usually, the central focus is very obvious and sometimes it's not so obvious and that's why you should break down the images and what this is doing for you is it's practicing not only for you for composition but it's also practicing so you can see forceful action this pushing force that you usually see when you're doing your gesture drawings okay so Go do the homework and we'll see you in the next lecture.